Welcome to the Tatai Academy. Today we're going to be doing a study on V-shapes and V-layering. Now, V-layering is basically where the hair is shorter in the front and on the sides and longer in the back. Now, it's not a mullet, but it has that, that V angle and shape in the back that's very, very popular, especially on long hair where you put that little bit of beach wave into it. It's very pretty. So let's get started. So to get started, I'm going to separate the top of the head from the bottom of the head. And I'm going to take the recession all the way straight back to the crown. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. See if that matches. That looks pretty good. Match that all the way around. So we're going to separate the top from the bottom. When I go through and do this layering, I need to be conscientious of how my overall length is going to affect my layering. So if this is my longest point in the back, which I want to keep that long because I want it to be longer in the middle of the back, I can pull that forward and see, okay, that's the length. I pull this shortest piece up here. I know I can't go any shorter than about that right there while still maintaining this overall length in the back. The next thing I want to take into consideration is the angle of my parting up front. If I angle here and I pull my section parallel, because I'm holding it at a graduated angle, it's going to be heavier around the front and it's going to shift back. So do I want it heavy or do I want it light? Take my vertical section. I'm going to pull that forward. I'm going to open my feather plie razor. This gives me the most control and the cleanest cut line of all the razors that I have in my arsenal. I'm going to pull this forward. I'm going to determine my length, which is about right there. And now I'm going to go through and take a nice, broad razor stroke parallel to my parting. From here, close the blade when I section so I don't have to worry about cutting myself. I'll take a parallel section straight back, pull this forward off of the curvature of the head, that's the elevation that I'm going to hold this section. Open my blade. There's my guide. Cut that down and through. Now we're going to go all the way down to the corner of the hairline. I'm going to remove my first section. So now I only have my second and my third. At this section, I'm going to hold it at that elevation. Continue to pull forward. There's my guide. Now I'm going to remove my second section, pin that out of the way. The next section parallel to my previous, and I'm just going to continue to work this all the way back into the center of the head. There's my guide, and as I get closer to the back, I should have less hair to cut. Take my next section straight down the center of the back of the head. Again, this is the elevation that I'm holding it. Open my blade. There's my guide. Very little to cut. I've finished this side. I'm going to go through and do the exact same thing on the other side. See if our lengths are the same and they look pretty good. And you can certainly see that this shape is already developing into a V. So the longer the hair is, the better that I think that this shape works. The thicker the hair is, the more you can take out and the lighter and the airier you can get it without it feeling real mullety. So we're going to go through Take a section straight across the top, 
pin all this out of the way. I'm going to go through and use a little bit of Jatai Blade Glide just to make sure that the moisture is consistent and also to make the blade glide through the hair easier and cut more consistently. I'm going to tilt the head down just a little bit so you can see where I'm coming from. There's my guide on the side and we're going to go through, cut this straight across to my guide from the other side. Follow Jatai Feather on your favorite social media platform. My next section is going to be parallel, and I'm basically going to do the same thing I did to the sides, just going across the top. Now, the reason I separated the top out is because when I start going off the curvature of the head, it starts getting elevated a lot more than the sides, so it's easier for me to keep control of it by taking the section separate. Make sure I'm going off the curvature of the head. There's my guide. I'm gonna go through, cut that straight across. Next section's parallel to the previous sections as I continue to work that back. Now here I'm gonna tilt her head down a little bit and this is the elevation that I'm going off of. Now as I get to the back, you'll see that start to elevate quite quickly. Go through, there's my guide, a nice broad stroke. Next section, and only one after that. Lowering the head again. This is the elevation that we're going off of. Get my razor right. Get my section right. There's my elevation. There's my guide. Go through. Cut that through. And again, as I get to the back, I should have less and less hair to cut. Last section. This is where I'm going to elevate it all the way up. Proper elevation. There's my guide. Go through. Cut that length off. Now, by going through and cutting with a razor, that's going to keep the ends very light and airy. And I think very, very consistent. And I think very pretty for this type of haircut. Not much on this side. Perfect. We've got our, we got our shape cut into it. I think it looks very nice. It flows really well. We've got this kind of bohemian chic going on with a little bit of uh, rocker thrown in. So let's blow it dry. Take a look at it. Click the thumbs up, subscribe, and the notification bell to be notified of future Tatai Academy content. We finished our blow dry. You can certainly see the shape develop pretty well. We've got this longer center of the back with it fuller through the back of the head where we left most of the length. As we layered it more around the front, it transitions very well into the back and we have this very, you know, bohemian 70s inspired kind of shape. And that's just the way we do it dry. This shape tends to work well on all types of hair, thicker, thinner, wavier, Maybe not curly hair, super curly hair, because it can get real big real quick going from this short to long, but it works really well on most hair. The longer that it is, I think the better that this shape works and the better it looks, especially if you're going for one of those balayage, beach wave type of shapes. I think this works really, really well. So 
Let us know what you'd like to see in the future. Please check out the Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of great information on there that will make you a better hairstylist and barber. And we really appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. 